children what a week eh we've gone back into lockdown back to homeschooling and quite a few people are worried so i was thinking that this week would be a really good idea to look at don't worry and as i was thinking what we could do i thought ah Worries are a bit like bubbles. You see, worries are big and small, and so are bubbles. And bubbles float off up into the sky. Sometimes they pop and, and they are no more. And that's the same with worries. Sometimes we worry and what we're worrying about actually doesn't happen. Also, I was thinking that if we give our worries to God, then he takes them away and um, we don't have to worry about them anymore. And when the bubbles are floating away, that's a bit like our worries are floating up to God. So I thought we could use bubbles if we're worried and maybe think about what we're worried about. So I'm worried about homeschooling and not being able to to manage it with three children and i'm going to give it up to you god and there's my bubbles and my worries floating off up to god i wonder what you're worried about wow lots of worries there but worrying is human and it, it's natural, it's something that we all do, and, and that's okay. So, do you think worrying is healthy or unhealthy? Well, actually, it's healthy in the way that it keeps us safe and stops us from doing dangerous things that might hurt us. But it can be unhealthy when we worry about everything and that stops us from doing anything and everything or even maybe stops us from going outside and um, so we need to find a balance and I've got a video clip for you today that shows us Arthur who worries about everything and we're going to see what happens to Arthur. Let's take a look. You up there catch that with this? Magic dust! You crack it over your head. You'll have to focus. The sleigh will be coming at you at 45,000 miles an hour. 45,000? You'll be <laughs> torn in half. Depends on the angle the sleigh hits. You might just get beheaded. I've got a phobia of being beheaded and heights and speed and reindeer and... Buttons. Buttons? Yeah, I'm pretty much scared of everything. Gwen thinks you're coming. You can't do this. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Come on, Arthur. Don't worry, son. Only a raving lunatic. I have to worry. It's the only thing I'm good at. <sighs> worry me. This sleigh will be back any minute. Come on. Worry me, quickly. I imagine Gwen all alone. Nothing under the tree. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. Don't like this. Stop, stop, stop. Give me down. The tears as she finds she's been left out. Screaming, Santa did not oh. come. Oh, Gwen! No! It's just too high! Gwen, in the street, surrounded by kids on new bikes, pointing, that's the girl that Santa hates! She runs away, alcoholic by the age of nine, dead before she's even... She may never build a snowman again! <laughs> what if there are buttons on the sleigh and there's no amount? Here it is! <laughs> <laughs> So that was Arthur in Arthur Christmas. And how was Arthur feeling in that clip? Yes, that's right. He was worried. He was worrying about everything because as he says, that's what he does best. So he's there in the boat. He's a gibbering wreck. He's, he's shaking. And But what happens when he thinks about Gwen? That's right. He gets motivated. He does what he needs to do to catch the sleigh. And uh, 
That reminds me of what Jesus said in Matthew 6 verse 24 where he says don't worry saying what will we eat and what will we drink? Look at the birds. They don't plant seeds, harvest or store up food. Do birds have food cupboards in their nests? No. Where do birds get their food from, children? That's right. They get worms and insects from the ground and fruit and berries from bushes and trees. The birds don't worry because they know God will provide everything they need. And it's the same for us. God will provide everything that we need. And in Matthew 6, verse 34, Jesus says, Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I think what Jesus is saying here is no matter what we're going through in life, that we shouldn't worry because he's got us and he will take care of us. So we can trust in Jesus to provide everything that we need today so that we don't have to worry about tomorrow and we can take one day at a time. So your challenge this week is to just do what you need to do today. Don't worry about tomorrow or next week and trust in Jesus that he will provide you with everything you need. So let's pray and ask Jesus to help us with that. So get into your prayer positions and let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you provide everything we need. Forgive us when we worry and forget to give our worries to you. Please help us to take one day at a time, only worrying about today and not the future. In Jesus' name, roll those arms. Amen. So we have watched our video, done our discussion, said our prayers. What time is it now, children? That's right, it's crafting time. So what are we doing this week, Lottie? Well, we are making a flying bird. So what will you need? You will need some white card or yellow card or any colour you want your bird to be some sticky sticky glue stick, a pencil, some string or thread, some scissors, watch out they're sharp, and a hole punch or something to make holes with. So let's get crafting! So take your piece of card, remember it can be any colour that you want it to be, if you haven't got a coloured card, don't worry, you could do white card and decorate it, that'll be more fun. So what you need to do is draw the outline of a bird. So let's do the bird's head like this. And then the bird has a beak like that. And then we carry on round for the head like this. And then we need to do a body. So like an oval shape almost. And then the back. Now the back is very important to get it straight because we are going to rest the wings on it. Don't worry if there's a little bit over like mine because we're going to cut him out. So we've drawn our bird. Now we're going to draw a triangular tail piece like this. So do a bit of a triangle. And then put some curves on the bottom like this to make it into feathers. There we go. Uh, then once you've done that, if you wanted more than one bird, you would fold your piece of card and you get two birds. Once you've done that, um, cut that out and you will get something like this. Now I've cut a couple of tail feathers out because you will need two. So if you want to do two, one each side, 
then what you would do is you would fold your piece of paper. So then what we're going to do is with our sticky sticky glue, we're going to glue our tail feathers on. So that one is going to go on this side here, like that. And then this one is going to go on this side here, like that. So I'm putting my glue on. And then I'm going to put my feather on there. And then I'm going to draw a line on my beak here. There we go. And then a oval on my eye. There we go. A, a dot in for the for the uh, for the eye, and then do the same on the other side. And again, do a an oval eye shape and a dot. That's right. And then we're just going to move that out of the way and take another piece of yellow card. And fold that in half, like so. Oh, no, get it in the corners, like that. And this is going to be your wing. So with your yellow piece of card folded in half, what you're going to do is you are going to draw a wing shape. So if we go from uh, one corner down here like this, that's it. And then you're going to cut that out with your scissors and you will get something like this. And then what you need to do is fold that out and you will have a fold here in the middle. If you have um, got white card and you're decorating, now would be the time to decorate it. Then what you need to do is fold it back in half and then fold this bit say about a centimeter maybe two centimeters and fold the wing down like that and then on the other side turn it over and fold the wing about another centimeter two centimeters and then fold that and you end up with something like this okay and you've got a little dip there then what you're going to do is get your bird back and put your wings on the back with the flat edge at the front near his head and the curved edge here by his bottom and then with your hole punch or with something that you're going to make holes you need to put a hole in each edge each each side so one at this edge and one at one that there. edge and one there and then with your bit of uh, thread you're going to tie one end push that through like that and tie one end here there we go and one end to the other bit you just tie it in a knot and then this end will want to go through the holes, so you've got holes in the back as well. You're going to put it through the both holes of the wings and through the holes of the bird. And then you're going to tie it in a knot, like so. And then, if you hold the string, the string is now a little handle for you to hold your bird. But if you hold, pull the string up and down, the wings fly. Have a go at that one. What a tweet, terrific craft. Next, we've got beautiful flower. But what will you need, Lottie? You will need some coloured paper in the colour you would like your flower to be, some green paper or card, or a green pipe cleaner or straw some yellow card, some sticky sticky glue stick, some scissors, watch out they're sharp, and a pencil to draw with. So let's get crafty! So for our paper flower craft you're going to need two pieces of paper, 
around about that size, two squares. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make it into a concertina. So you fold a little bit up and then you fold it over and fold it back and again and again. See what I'm doing? I'm moving the paper round each way, turning it over each time that I fold it. And so you get a bit like a fan there. OK, so you do that with both pieces of paper and end up with something like this. Then what you do is you fold it in half like this and then you need to cut the corners off to make a, a point almost. So one there and one there. Trim it up a bit to make that a bit tidier, make sure it's nice and tidy. And the same on this side. Trim it up a bit there. And a bit on this side. There we go. And then one there. And one there. Then what you're going to do is with this edge here, you're going to glue this edge here to this edge here. So you put a bit of glue on there like that and fold that together so you end up with something like that and then you do the same with your other piece you glue this side to that side obviously yours will be the same size and then pull it this side and then what you're going to do is glue this, this side and this side to this side and this side to make a flower like that. There we go. So we'll put our flower just out of the way for a moment and we'll get our yellow card. Here we go. I folded my piece of yellow card over and then I'm going to use the top of my glue to make a circle. This is going to go in the centre of our flower. So you go round the circle like that and cut that out. So you end up with two yellow bits and then glue the back of your yellow circle and stick that in the middle of your flower like that. And the same on the other side that so that will go I've used double-sided paper with my flower so you've got purple on one side and pink on the other and press that on make sure that sticks and then next you want your green card or green straw or green pipe cleaner now if you're using the pipe cleaner or the straw all you do is you will stick that you'll sellotape that to the back of your flower. However, I'm going to use a strip of green card. So draw a line all the way down, about a centimetre, maybe two centimetres wide. That's going to be the stalk of your flower. So however thick you want the stalk of your flower. And I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to cut that out to get this. Then with another piece of green card, so that's my stalk, I'm going to take a piece of green card and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to draw a leaf shape. So it's got a bit of a stem and then I'm going to go round the leaf up to the point and then round here like that and then do a do some lines for the for the leaves and then I'm going to cut that out and I end up with two leaves like this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue my leaves on to my stalk. Take my two leaves, pop one there and then one just below it there. And then what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to glue my flower head to my paper stem there and there is my paper flower. Well, that was a flower-tastic craft. Well, sadly, that's all we've got time for today. But don't forget your challenge, guys. Remember to talk to Jesus and give him all your worries. Remember that Jesus will provide everything you need so that you can just live one day at a time without worrying about what's coming tomorrow or next week. So take care. Have a good week. And until next time, guys, goodbye.